Earnest Money Receipts, why are they important? When you go into dot loop, into your transaction, into the templates, you will see there is a placeholder for a copy of the earnest money check and a copy of the receipt. So those may be one and the same if um, you got a wire or if you know some of the law firms will put a copy of the check and the receipt together in one form, which is totally fine. But it's super important that we have a copy of the, the receipt. Why do you say? You know, how often is it that your buyer is out of town? They go back home, they take, they write out the check, they send you a picture. Great, right? How do we know if it ever came in? If you're the listing agent, you never know if it went, got to the place it was supposed to be, to the escrow agent. So we always ask for a receipt showing that the escrow agent has actually received the funds. Pretty important, especially when you're representing the seller. How would you like to make that call to your seller to say, gosh, the deal fell apart, and the seller says, okay, well, I'm gonna let them out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep their earnest money, or I'm gonna take their earnest money. You've not heard that once or twice, right? And then all of a sudden you go back to the escrow agent, or you draw up the release and have the earnest money going back to the seller, but lo and behold, the earnest money was never turned in. That's a problem. That's not a great conversation to have with your seller. So that is one of the reasons why we asked for it. It is also spelled out in the contract that if you, if they're asked, if the escrow agent is asked, they will provide either an email, a receipt, something showing that they received the funds. So rise up in real estate and I hope you have a great day. Please let me know if you have any questions. Bye.